Hey guys, it's a me, Mario. And today, wait, what was it again? Yeah, <clears throat> it's me, Supreme Darkness. And today we will be playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. We'll start with the game and listen to this nostalgic theme for about one minute or more. After that we are done, let's start the game. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. I, 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 it's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure! Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Meow. 
Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen, bedroom, and attic. And close that. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. You can see, SpongeBob can be as sneaky as he want. Comes with special sneaky facts too. I make myself a snack, but there's no time. A note from Mr. Krabs, <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Well, that sounds like an upbeat music. Well, let me collect all these shiny thingies so that we can move forward as I need these thingies to unlock the door. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. Red is the most common and least valuable, purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in dangerous places. SpongeBob may see how well he is doing by pressing right trigger. The number in the upper right is how many shiny spatulas. Yeah, yeah, we know. UI shows the type and the amount of that certain collectible you caught. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Well, time to explore the areas in the house. Hmm, let's see how bouncy a SpongeBob is. How much bounce a SpongeBob can bounce? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Break it, make it, shake it, bounce. Oh, we can double jump by pressing A two times. That's nice. To think this game had a double jump in 2003 because that's when it originally came. That's nice. <laughs> that, that was completely unexpected. I was not expecting them to demonstrate the game's mechanics so tangibly. <laughs> he sure loves Shally, that's for sure. Fresh like a spring breeze. I was trying to open this treasure chest. But I guess Spongebob's unique picture is a treasure enough. Time to go to what's the next area. Here we will learn about different mechanics which can be done to destroy these tickies and press buttons. Here you will also find one dirty shock line upside which can be only gotten 
when we complete the time limited course and reach the sock. Dirty crusty socks. Hmm, wonder why they are crusty, what has been bad break up to. SpongeBob reminds me of my childhood, so I got pretty excited and decided to buy this game and share it with you guys in a form of a let's play gameplay video HD 60 FPS Ultra Pro Max yeah anyways in the first playthrough I accidentally just unlocked the closet and collected the spatula and just went through the door missing out the entire home gameplay so I had to restart again. Once you get them, it's time to move on. Well, time to get the golden spatula and move towards the next area. Nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss. Me. Well, he's sure an evil guy, if you know what I mean. SpongeBob? This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Let's destroy some keys and collect some shiny objects. Too pretty. Can't take it! Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it out! Don't forget, to defeat robots or tikis that are directly above you, press this button! Ooh, Bubble Buddy. I wonder what happens when I beat the shit out of him. Mm, yeah. I guess not much. These things are rather sturdy than expected. After I have done a little bit more of exploring. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
I realize that I cannot go out of bounds otherwise this big hand will continue to throw me inside. Hey Patrick, nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Laundry. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I will only be telling you about the collectibles which I actually find myself. This is not a 100% completion video nor some sort of tutorial. It's just a my unique let's play gameplay movie Ultra HD. Uh, Ultra Pro Max. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. I feel like a new sponge. So, I got the golden underwear, oh, which gives me one extra life, and then I also got the spatula. Which I did not realize, but I could have caught it in just one turn by starting the time challenge at the same time as oh, activating the platform. N nevertheless, you learn by making mistakes, anyways. And now we will enter jellyfish fields, and that's all for this video. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of such videos. Such actions make the algorithm horny for the video, probably. So please consider doing that. See you next time.